Alright, welcome back to a new video. Today is part 2 on how to make the game pass shot. If you haven't already, make sure you watch part 1. I will link it in the description below. And with that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, please leave a like, subscribe, and let's get right into it. Alright, so I opened the project we was working on last video, which is the game pass shop. And this is part 2, so we're going to start by... As you can see, when we click play, it will only say the name and the price. Right here. So we're going to start by doing the image, and then we're going to start by... If we click on it, it will let us buy the game pass. So go ahead to your starter GUI. And then go to your main GUI. Game pass frame. Then open up your shop clone. Then where it says game pass image... Go ahead and insert a UI, then go ahead and insert a UI aspect constraint into that. And this will make sure that the size doesn't change. So go ahead, drag your shop clone into game pass frame, then scroll in frame, make it visible. Then just make sure your image size is correct. Just like that. Now go ahead, make it visible equals false right here. Then drag this into your game pass frame. Now let's start with some script then. Go to starter player, starter player scripts, modules, and then your game pass shop. Now let's do clone dot, was it uh, game pass image? Game pass image dot image, then equals a string, then rbx, rbx asset id, then colon slash slash, then dot dot, all right, now we can do v dot. What was it in our module? So game passes v dot image id right here. There we go. Now go ahead and go to your game pass module, which is in replicate storage modules and game passes. Now where it says image id, just paste your image id into that. So this can be any image id you want it to be. It can be a game pass one. For now, I'm just going to do a random one. So let's go ahead. Just paste this one in here. Now once you pasted your image uh, in here, go ahead and click play. Yeah, and as you can see, it will show your image now. So for example, this would be your Game Pass image. So I'll say Game Pass 1, the price over here, then your image. Now go ahead, stop playing. Now let's go on to some other stuff. So now we have the basics done, let's go ahead, go to our Game Pass Shop module. Alright, so we need a buy button in our clone. So go ahead to start a GUI, main GUI, Game Pass Frame, then drag your shop clone into Game Pass Frame 2 and scroll in frame. Make it visible. Go ahead, insert text button, then make sure to do the size correctly. And let's go ahead. You can make this any size you like, I'll just do it something like this for now do it over here so this will be the buy button now go ahead and insert UI corner into that uh, you can customize this how you want it so text sales I'm just gonna do this buy the background color green all right just like that and then go ahead to text color you can make this any color color you like all right now go ahead to font and we can just we can do this as cartoon I think we're gonna drag this down here just like that and then go ahead and move the other text up a bit so around there we can make this around here as well now go ahead and name this by and we can make this visible untick visible and drag it into your game pass frame now go ahead back to your game pass shop module which is over here open that then go to clone clone dot by dot mouse button one click button one click connect function let's get so go to local market get place equals game get service marketplace service then let's go ahead and do marketplace uh, marketplace service uh, then promote game pass game pass purchase and then do I'll see v dot image no it okay now go ahead to your module so replicate storage modules game passes then add another one called 
who this one came past ID. Just like that for now. Oh, equals, then we'll get around to that. Let's just do that for now. Copy paste that in there. Now you can make your Game Pass ID your actual Game Pass. So as you can see, I'm gonna go click on one of my games. So for example, this is one of my Game Passes. I can just go ahead and copy and paste this. Copy that and then paste it in here. And we're just gonna do the same ID. You can make yours whatever, but I'm trying to do this real quick. Just like that. Now go ahead, promote Game Pass purchase. Then V dot Game Pass ID. Game Pass ID. Like that. Go ahead and test that. Click play. Now click buy. Alright, we have a we have an error. Okay, okay. So obviously we want to do it as player. So did we do player? Yep, we did. So player. So it needs two arguments. So like that, player then V of Game Pass ID. Go ahead and test that. Go ahead, click buy. And there you go, my account already has this uh, Game Pass, so it won't ask me to buy it. So as you can see, I already own this Game Pass. If I didn't, it would ask me to buy the Game Pass. Now we're gonna do another feature where if we own the Game Pass, it won't let us buy it and it will say like we own the Game Pass. So go ahead, stop playing. Alright, so go ahead and go to your Game Pass frame, then Shop Clone. Once again, drag it into a scrolling frame and make it visible. Copy and paste your Game Pass image, and then just drag it into your buy. Then you can delete the then you can delete the UI aspect constraint. Just go ahead, delete that. Then we can scale this just like that. We can make it visible. Or we'll transparency equals one. I mean zero. Then let's make UI corner into that. Let's do the same size. We can make the transparency 0 0.5 actually, 0 0.2 or 0 0.8, 0 0.4. Then insert or copy and paste the text label. We can name this. We can name this port. port. And actually make the background transparency zero and make the color whatever you like i'm just going to do the same green or let's do a nice purple color like that now make well you can name this uh just yeah bought so bought the game pass then we can make this visible, untick that. So as you can see, if we own the game pass, this will show. If we don't, it won't. So go ahead and make that visible. Then make your shop clone visible false. Drag that back into your game pass frame. All right, now let's go ahead and go to your game pass shop. Then let's do, right, what's the, right. So let's do local player owns pass. Then equals marketplace surfer, marketplace. Yeah, then user owns pass async. Then use, or it won't be user, it will be player, sorry. Player, then v.gamepass ID. Then now we can do if player owns pass, then now let's go ahead and copy and paste, copy and paste this, then delete that. Now if player owns pass, then print just owns pass then else then we can paste that there let's go ahead and test that wait if player owns pass then we can make the thing visible so clone clone dot buy dot clone dot buy dot bought dot visible equals true just like that let's go ahead and test that okay i think we have an error what's the error okay we will do user id instead i guess so 
local uh, user. But let's just do user equals player dot u actually we can just do player dot user id over here. Player dot user id. I think that's how Roblox does it. Yeah, player dot user id. Okay. Now let's go ahead and test that again. Uh, we do own one of these, I don't know what the error is. Oh, we, we own all these game passes already. So we're going to go ahead and change one of these IDs to a game pass I don't have. Let's just do that. Then let's go ahead and test that again. Alright, now we can see if this works. So game pass 2, we already own that. Game pass 3, we don't own that, so we can buy it. So, yeah, so we don't own it and we can buy it. Then cancel, then Game Pass 1, we own this as well. So as you can see, it won't let us buy the Game Passes we already own. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and do some UI upgrades, just because I think it'll make it look a bit better. So let's go ahead, insert maybe another frame into this. Okay, that looks pretty nice. I'm happy with that. Let's make this visible equals false. Drag it back into Game Pass frame. Let's go ahead and test it, make sure it works. And yeah, there we go. So now we have added more to our Game Pass shop. Now we can buy things. And if we already own a Game Pass, we can't. And we also have images. In part three, we might add some more. Maybe like off sale Game Passes, I'm not sure. Comment what you want me to add to this, or we can start a brand new tutorial. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.